Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, sorry guys, I couldn't upload for the last two weeks as I was we were having some issue and we were celebrating uh, the Muslim festival Eid. Now we are back and I am really excited to show you the videos continuously. Thank you guys to all of them for reaching 7k views and I am really happy about it. And today we are trying out an Arabic restaurant in, in Dubai downtown. Uh, it's called Tal Alamur. We'll be trying out Middle Eastern food, especially Lebanese food, mixed grill, uh, I don't know what not. And I hope you guys enjoy it. You can see the restaurant around us, it's really amazing. So guys, what we have ordered till now is Arabic hummus, which is basically the ketchup or sauce of Arabic dishes. So it's uh, amazing and you'll see what it is. Then we have ordered a mixed grill, which will have all the lamb chops and all whatnot. I'll show you the rest of that later on. And we have ordered appetizers, uh, it's called the kibbeh. So I've ordered that as well. This is the first appetizer we have brought and ordered. This is called the... What is it called? Kibbeh, kibbeh. Okay. So guys, this is the first appetizer that we have ordered. It's called the fried kibbeh. It is fried, it, it, it has lamb inside and it is fried. So let me see how it tastes like. This is the hummus which I was talking about. It is you can see. I'm going to dip it in hummus like this. Look at how nicely it is made. Amazing. Typical Arabic food. Pretty nice though. Not at all spicy, properly fried, inside it, it's very soft and outside it's properly fried. So guys we have ordered the mixed grill now, this is the mixed Arabic grill, it's got, this is the uh, lamb chops, this is this is a lamb kebab, lamb pieces, what not. Uh, this is a complete Arabic mixed grill you will ever see, uh, it has french fries in it, which are my favourites. I'm gonna get back to you after when we start eating this one after taking some snapshots this is how we had uh, Arabic food with our hands and the kudus yeah, no, no shit but the people in US they don't know how that we, we, we are supposed to do it <laughs> yes. why can't no, I? you're not saying all that I'm saying it's going on my video come on. Oh, because they, what they use is they use fork and spoon but what we do is we use our hands this is the lamb chops I'm gonna have the first bite look at it see how it tastes me being Indian this food uh, I find it very not spicy you know they are like very thin but that's how Arabic food is supposed to yeah. be so that's what how Arabic supposed uh, food is supposed to be in born in Dota Bay so we are pretty used to it and this is really amazing this is one of the best it's something you know, new I'm going to try this one I don't know what it is called it looks surely juicy Chicken. I make a video and before making a video I'm sure that I decide like okay I'm not gonna I'm gonna have food. I'm not gonna be hungry but then at the end I don't think now I'm hungry and I don't care about reviewing the food. All I care about is eating. There are many Arabic restaurants we can try out in Dubai. But you know why I chose this one? Because I knew this place is going to be you know, peaceful and calm. Not many people will be around here so I could review my food like openly and you know confidently. What we are gonna try is this one. It's the what are this called? Meat. Wow. Meat. Food, just order an Arabic grill and hummus. Everything you have in Arabic grill, just dip it in hummus and have it. You'll find the true taste of our Middle East food. The tropical juice. And the one she has ordered is a mojito. Let's see. They are not, by the way, Arabic. They are just Arabic juices. This is the kebab. I'll be trying out. How do you feel about the restaurant? Yeah, it's good, good. Something new. This is the lamb chop. And this is the way you won't never have Arabic lamb chops. This is the way you never have it. Arabic lamb chops, like holding it in your hand and then no one around, so I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. Mm -hmm. Out of 10. Out of 5, yeah, because I'll be reviewing it on Zomato. Out of 5, so what What was the good thing about the place and what was the bad thing about the place? What do you think? How did you feel? How was the restaurant? No comments, please. <laughs> okay. Good thing about the place, the ambience and the way the restaurant was, 
amazing the view is amazing i like places where i am the only one or maybe you know there are not a lot of people it's, i don't like crowded places sorry bad english crowded places so i don't like it but then this one is like you know so peaceful i'm kind of enjoying it and it was amazing the food was uh, 3 out of 5 3.25 out of 5 Uh, what I would complain about was the quantity for the price. The quantity was not good enough, but then I hope they don't hear from me. And uh, the staff, the staff were really amazing. They kept on asking us what we liked and what not, and how they were really good about it. Guys, now uh, what we ate was Arabic grill, Arabic meat grill, which had lamb chops, lamb kebabs, and what not. You will have seen it. Uh, we ordered uh, what was that? The star order, the uh, the fried kebab. It was appetizer, which had uh, lamb mince, juices and what uh, the so. And if you guys like the video? Do share the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video and keep eating with Mahit.